The thing about Staveley is that there's a fantastic mix of different types of people who are able to live here at the moment. If there's a problem with that, there are some people that aren't currently able to live in the village and that unbalances uh, the whole community in some ways. General house prices are so out of kilter with what we can afford on, on local wages. How we define affordable housing is, is really an issue. Is it really affordable to, to local people? And I think the general answer to that is it isn't. There are without doubt some people that work here that have to live elsewhere and that definitely needs addressing. But perhaps one of the needs that is less easy to identify are those people that would like to live in the village, especially older people who want to live near their family or people that have moved away from the village and want to move back again. It would be great if what's built would be more appropriate to what local needs are so that it's affordable and what, what, people are maybe, what people are maybe looking for rather than, you know, larger houses which are unaffordable to people who are working locally. If there's a problem with Stavely's housing at the moment, it's the houses that are often standing empty where people in the community don't even know who live in those houses. And I think that leads to the point where um, we need to have a, a, a better discussion maybe of what a good proportion of houses for local people, affordable houses, second homes and holiday houses are in a village to make sure that, that community is balanced. This ain't rocket science in terms of what needs to be done. Where's your life, where's your future going to be? Where are the families? You know, why should they be up here? I see a lot of villages locally that are effectively ghost villages compared to Staveley. No shops, no pubs, or if there are, they've been converted into houses, perhaps for second homeowners. In so many communities in Cumbria, you have got the issue of, is that community still sustainable? You know, if you haven't got the families coming in with the children, you know, there may not be the school bus. Will there be the, will there be the school available? Staveley is so fortunate from that point of view because it has the size and it has the vibrancy. I think Staveley can be looked at as a fine example of where you can actually balance communities by ensuring that there's a really good balance of different types of housing. Larger houses, detached houses, small houses, terraced, denser houses, affordable houses and perhaps unaffordable houses to some people. But that's what gives Staveley its vibrant mix of different types of people that make up the community.